Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. I realize that some minds are thoughtful. I'm loving watching everything you've been thinking about what I've been talking about here. Very interesting. Very good. Yes, my brothers, there is a lot of new information, and I am trying to convey the information to you in the simplest way, the easiest way, so that you understand everything that has already happened, and why a lot of things happened. Continuing our topic from yesterday. I had told you to think, if you are the only system that dwells around the son of Alcyon. Very good. I think you can see that it would be just another pointless thing. Something so immense, something so big, and just having you around it. For what purpose? None. There would be no reason for you to be the only ones orbiting around this great central Sunday. So let's learn a few more things today. Many of you have heard of the Pleiadians. That they are beings of light who are participating in this entire process here, of the ascension of the planet, and that they are loving beings who were willing to come here to help in the ascension of their planet. All right, the Pleiadians come from the Pleiades. These Pleiades are a set of constellations, a set of systems that also orbit around this central Sunday. So this is just one example that you are not alone, orbiting this great Sunday. As I have already pointed out here, a few times, the history of this planet goes back many thousands of years ago. It's not relevant here for me to talk about the age of each star that orbits around its Sunday. This won't make any difference in your lives. I just say the following, as I already said here, your planet is very beautiful seen from space, because it is colorful, it has an atmosphere, or rather, I need to make a reservation, it had a totally pure, crystal clear atmosphere, and from very far away in space, you could see this beautiful blue planet. When our father or mother God creates something, everything has a reason. Everything has a foundation. That's what I'm tired of telling you. Everything we do, we, beings of light, always has a foundation, which you often don't understand. Many times you try to understand, but you can't. But everything has a foundation. So the idea here was to develop new souls, because each planet has souls that are born on that planet. Many are already moving forward and wanting to ask the question, where do souls come from? Calm down, this is further on. I'm still in space. I haven't landed yet. I'm still in space. Very good. So, the planet was created to be populated. Things don't turn out like that. God does not snap his fingers and create a being. No, things are not like that. So this planet was created to be inhabited. He had conditions, he had a perfect habitat to be inhabited. Very good. No, I'm not going to talk about you yet. As I said your solar system orbits around Alcyon, whose orbit is around 26,000 years. We started putting numbers on the processes. You orbit around your sun for a year, and your system as a whole orbits around Alcyon for 26,000 years. Where you can conclude that it is a long orbit, far beyond what you can imagine. Far beyond what their minds can think. Far beyond what their religions can score. Much of what you know is from studies of fossils found on your planet. Everything is assumptions and studies. Nothing proven. Nothing actually understood. Everything was created and put on a great theater so that you could understand something according to those who were here. So let's go back to millions of years ago. In this son of Alcyon, you will see, along with this video, you will receive a map so that you can look and understand more easily what I am talking about. Since you always need to create an image in your mind to be able to understand something. Otherwise everything becomes very empty, everything becomes very loose in your mind, and becomes more difficult to understand. So let's go. This central sun has, let's make a correlation with Saturn. For those who don't know the planet Saturn, I suggest you go online and take a look. It has an asteroid belt around the planet that orbits there in a balanced and harmonious way. 
It's as if the planet always had that belt around it. Very good. Save this image. So, around Alcyon's sun there is something similar, there is the photon belt. Which is a belt with very high energies, with transformative energies, energies of very high frequencies. Keep this information. But this belt is not placed on Alcyon like Saturn. No, it is not around the sun, with a round belt. It is around the sun, but it is, let's say, as if it had been stretched at both ends. So it's like a big rectangle with very rounded edges, and the sun in the middle. Very good. Then you realize, begin to understand that there are divisions in this orbit. You have two spaces that do not have a belt and that have a belt space. So everything that orbits around Alcyon sometimes passes through this belt, sometimes passes through a region that does not have these energies, and in a little while it will pass through that region again and then return to a region without these energies. Look at the image, and you will understand what I am talking about. So let's get some more information. This belt that exists around Alcyon takes approximately 2000 years to be crossed. Note, I am speaking in Earth times, so that you can understand. You cannot imagine any other unit of time other than your own. So everything has to be done, based on your time unit, which are seconds, minutes, hours, weeks, months, and years. The greatest unit you have are years, centuries, and so on. But let's talk about years. So within Earth time, going beyond this belt takes 2000 years. Very good. So let's do some math. The orbit is 26,000 years old, 2,000 years on each side of the belt, 4,000, 22,000 years left, 11,000 on each side. Observe the image. Very good. Why am I saying all this? There are people out there asking themselves, what are all these things, 2,000, 1,000, 11,000? What is this? Very good. So now you will understand. You are living, your solar system, is in this dark band of Alcyon's orbit. One thing that is important to say here, being in this dark band does not mean being in low dimensions, no, one thing has nothing to do with the other, because the other solar systems that transit this orbit are not in Tercera. Continuing. So, what is happening? You are approaching that photo belt. The time is coming when your solar system will enter this belt. Oh. Then everything starts to make a little sense. So when we, the vast majority, say, the energies of the Alcyon Sun are arriving on your planet with much more intensity, what does that mean? It means that you are getting closer and closer to the belt. So when I tell you that there is a deadline, it is the date, physically speaking, on which your planet will fully penetrate this photo belt. Then you realize that there is no way to stop this process. And what does it mean to penetrate this photon belt? So I'm going to pause here on this question, and I'm going to talk about this belt. This belt is nothing more than an energy of great power, a transformative energy, a fifth dimensional energy, an energy that transforms, that cleans, which brings everything we talk about about the fifth dimension. So it is this energy that will make your planet rise, and everyone on it. So that's what I always tell you. There is no alternative, unless you invented transport, overnight, that could take you to the other planets. Which? Which planets would you go to? How would you stay there? It does not have. There is no exit. Whoever is on this planet will ascend. Point. Now let's go to the other side. When I tell you that resonating fifth energy is resonating love, is resonating light, so these energies in this belt do not resonate with low vibrational feelings, because they are very high. When I say they are fifth, it is because they will bring your planet to fifth, but they are very high. So you understand, when I say that whoever doesn't resonate with this, won't stay on the planet? Do you understand, when I say that those who like to resonate with the third dimension, with power, with these low vibrational feelings, will not remain on the planet? Do you understand this? Because these energies will not allow it. You understand when I say that you have to vibrate high, 
that you have to resonate loudly, that you have to vibrate love, that you have to vibrate light, so that you are compatible with these energies. So, my brothers, it is not for you to sit around all day praying, you have to feel it in your hearts, not in your minds. You have to vibrate high, not in the mind, you have to vibrate loudly, in your heart, because he is the one who will be hit by these energies, and that heart that resonates with these energies will pass to the fifth dimension easily. Now he who does not resonate will not pass. It's like a big portal, it's like a machine that you're going to pass like a big test. You will pass or not, it depends on what you vibrate with, it depends on what you are vibrating at the moment. So, when I tell you that there is a deadline, there is. There is a deadline. Ah, then you will go looking, your astronomers are counting, no, they are not because they don't accept it. Its astronomers do not recognize Alcyon's sun. It doesn't exist for them. So there are no accounts, does not exist. There are so many years left. No, no, that doesn't exist. Just, that's what I always tell you, there is a deadline. Yes, there is, whether you resonate or not, the planet will enter the fifth dimension. I've been saying this here for a long time. It's nothing new to anyone. So when we say, you are receiving direct energy from the Alcyon Sun, it's because you're getting closer to that belt. Ah, so since we're getting closer, things will happen quickly. No I did not say that. Getting closer is not saying being close, is not to say being inside. You are getting closer. So the energies are coming. So all this cleansing energy is acting on your planet, and on each one of you. She is already acting. No, no, you will not wait for that energy to get there, the moment you transition into it acting, no, she is already acting. You are already receiving these energies in a very strong way, and with each passing day, these energies become more intense, because you get closer and closer to the belt. So notice, when we say that everything is in motion, that every process is in motion, and that nothing is still, that's exactly why. The only things we are manipulating, within time, are the actions that will happen here, in your third dimension. Not those linked to the transformation to the fifth. There is no control. Your planet keeps moving. Your solar system keeps moving and keeps getting closer to the belt. So my brothers, there is no going back, there is no way, will happen, whether you want it or not. There is no way to reverse. So. Many of you may be scared, oh, am I going to pass? I ask you this, what have we been doing here with all of you? What transformation has been made with all of you? You are learning every day to resonate a little more in the fifth dimension. You are being transformed, little by little, by me, by my teachings and by the energies that are arriving. But understand the following, energies alone do not change anyone, because if that were the case, everyone on your planet would be resonating in the fifth, because the energies are arriving. So, it's not just the energy that changes you. It is necessary to have the internal will to be changed, and that is what is happening here with this group, with these procedures, with these teachings that I am doing. So don't be afraid. What are you afraid of? To live something beautiful? To live in a golden age? To live a world without suffering? Is this what you are afraid of? Because, today I would say to you, the vast majority here are able to pass through this belt, and be there on Quinta, the vast majority, because they are allowing themselves to be changed, you are allowing yourself to learn, you are allowing yourself to know and accept, and you are changing. So there is nothing to be afraid of. Anyone who resonates with fear is because they know deep inside that they are not ready, that is not ready to rise, to ascend. So, today I want you to have this image, that your solar system is approaching this belt, which is why the energies are arriving here with more intensity. Because you are already getting, that's what you usually call, cosmic dust, it is as if it were the dust of these energies, but it is not, it is already the energy itself, and you are approaching this belt. Many questions will come from there. 
I know that, but they won't be answered today. I want you to keep this image, and discuss it. When I speak, arguing is not fighting, it is not slapping, please, it is to state things, your ideas, what the other person thinks, and always, respecting the other person's opinion, however absurd, however contrary yours may be. Respect each other's opinion. I want you to exchange ideas. I want you to open up, what each of you is understanding of all this. This is very important for your evolution, so that you understand what is coming. So that you understand what happened to your planet. So that you understand the entire history of your planet. So for today I'll stop here. I want you to carefully analyze everything that has been said here. Look at the image. If you want to research, research. It will be very good. The more information you have, the better, as long as it is reliable information. Search. Seek wisdom, seek knowledge, and that's great. I'm staying here today. I am Archangel Michael. And I am, I am very sure, that this work I am doing here with each one of you will bear fruit, fruits that will be the future inhabitants of the fifth dimension.